word up. So I, I already uh, <laughs> did a video of this video. Um, just just the very intro of it. So I wanted to share a little bit more of it because um, everything on this channel, which is Mind Unveiled, um, everything they do is uh, very deep stuff, high quality shit. So definitely check that channel out if you're into that kind of shite. <laughs> which, which if you're not, then then there's <laughs> you have no business listening to what I say. Anyways, so uh, yeah, this this is the one on uh, the parasites and making the connections with. Uh, Demons and parasites, and essentially what what the parasites do to, to do to the mind, why they are there in the first place. Um, basically, unveiling the mentality of unboxing um, the mindset that that has been uh, incorporated and encapsulated. With uh, every subject, everything has been put into a box. So we have to unbox it, uh, see, see the borders and the barriers, and dissolve them into a, uh, uh, a more spherical and uh, triangular uh, uh, spiral um, Maybe even an Ouroboros, so that we can see the beginning and the end collapsing in upon themselves, and uh, realize where the origin point and the causality lies. So... With the parasites, yes, they they uh, they serve a purpose. They are there for a reason. But then uh, what happens is they uh, actually it's multi layered. What what happens is uh, they get comfortable, and then we get comfortable as well with uh, allowing the uh, the sensation to exist within us. So then uh, the parasite no longer serves uh, its its role or it does to to the nth degree. It, it over uh, serves to the point and this is what happens whenever uh, we, we over exert or engage something that is beneficial um, too much. Uh, it, it doesn't become beneficial anymore. It becomes a hindrance starts taking away from the beneficial aspects that it once served. It becomes a crutch. So these parasites become a crutch and what happens is they start to influence uh, subtly um, upon the mind. But, but this is already like a weakened mind state. So the parasites only are there in the first place because of ignorance, ignoring what is going on within you. And if you if you eat meat uh, regularly, if you consume uh, dairy, and if you do consume dairy, um, odds are nine out of ten chances you consume pasteurized uh, dairy products if you consume uh, wheat and you don't know where the grains came from you don't know the quality 
it is all going to build up acidic and acidic environment inside your body where the parasites will thrive. And eventually, uh, they will uh, want to continue to exist within you and, and, and continue to thrive within you. So, not, not just are the parasites kind of subtly encouraging you. Um, okay, where, where, where this felt sensation happens on the subtle plane is that um, your inclination and your desire to maybe have a certain pull towards something, towards a an experience, towards a food, that is heightened because of these things inside of you. Parasites as well as um, certain uh, bacterial infections, uh, fungus. These things uh, add on to the pull that is happening. First stemming from the ignorance, ignoring the root causalities. So yes, these things uh, serve a purpose at first, but because of uh, the reality and the mentality that people, uh, modern day man, and I, when I say man, I just mean human, um, is finds themselves within nowadays. Um, it's a very sedentary lifestyle, um, uh, non-active, and consuming things that have been set up to directly feed these parasites. You need to realize that the setup is so multi-layered. It's so fucking multi-layered. And with the nutritional scam and setup, these little additives and preservatives and dyes and food colorings put into foods. And literally, it's put into everything that is mass-produced. Um, more and more, I am finding things that were are supposed to be health food products and, and then like I'm like oh hey this looks good and I read the ingredients like fuck no I can't consume this over and over and over again I'm finding this more and more with preservatives uh, additives and food food colorings that there's there's no fucking reason like let's let's add Red 40 to, to uh, unsweetened tea. What the fuck are you doing, dude? And I imagine that uh, they get a nice payoff for adding certain things to their products. Because otherwise, what, what the fuck is the purpose? It's all profit on the corporate end. The corporeal. The, uh, making the corpse seem real. So, uh, this is a process, this is a backwards process here, if you haven't realized it yet. And, uh, The degradation of the living system with the it's it's, it's a manipulate manipulation of of what's happening whenever we break down foods say like with fermentation and you start to have beneficial bacteria and probiotics and enzymes uh, start to build up a culture. 
what what has been uh, utilized in a um, aggressive manner. You could you could liken it to a uh, nutritional warfare that is happening. That has happened for for a long time now. Is attacking the beneficial bacteria, probiotics, enzymes with uh, things that are labeled food dyes, natural flavors, preservatives, They use the broad strokes so that they don't have to tell you exactly what they are utilizing as well as so that um, other people, other knowledged people, learned people can tell you why it's there. Which which is just a smoke screen if you, if you haven't noticed. Which is our whole fucking system set up is a smoke screen. To keep you from going within, and this is going to lead into uh, later videos that I'm going to do with uh, chiropractic care and um, how they are almost like uh, it, it's it's drilled into their mentality to believe and to regurgitate that you cannot adjust yourself you're self cracking so self popping this this is uh you you should not do that you should never do that and uh i i've uh got to the point where i've seen this with so many people uh so many chiropractors that i've witnessed on youtube that i respect that i've learned a lot from but then they get to this point and they you see this like, uh, oh, no, no, don't do that. And it's like, who? what's what's going on here? Um, it's a disconnect. They, they, they have a disconnect going on because um, of what they what has been drilled into them. It's, it's much like a boot camp. And that's that's what that's that's exactly what it is. Whenever you go in any kind of medical, um, if you any kind of doctorate that, that you want to pursue, you are into a fucking boot camp. It is exactly like the fucking army, and you you can ask any anyone who uh, has went through it. So, uh, coming out of certain mentalities and belief structures, it's uh, very difficult to do. So that's why I. Um, really enjoy watching certain chiropractic people go into other avenues uh, and modalities of health and healing and integrate. I, I love integrative work from several aspects of uh, and perspective points. But then, you know, we get to this point where, oh, 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 no, you can't do it yourself. And you got you just got to think about it. Use, um, use, use your own logic and don't be lazy in your thought. Continue to think for yourself and don't rely upon someone else's thought to do the work for you. You must do the work for yourself. You must yearn to discern reality for yourself. This is step one in waking up. You have to discern for yourself what is what. And I know I'm speaking to the choir here for, for most of the people that's going to listen to this. But uh, for anyone that has made it this far and doesn't already. And it's just on the beginning steps. You have to take it upon yourself to educate yourself, to re-educate yourself, to forget the garbage that you've been taught to believe in. And to go into the gnosis. What do, I, what do I mean by that? I mean the felt experience. Decide for yourself what is what. By feeling it. 
and yes, like the words aren't really going to let you know what that really means. You have to have some kind of a resemblance, uh, some kind of a recollect and experience to know what I'm talking about when I say that. Learning from experience. Allowing the teacher that is life to teach you, to show you. And uh, you can really only start to do this once you start to open up to what life is showing you. Because otherwise you're going to still be caught in the rat race, in the maze, thinking that you've got to get somewhere. Instead of taking a step back, remembering all the members and pieces, remembering how to listen again to what is going on inside of you and seeing that reflected outside of you. Okay, wow. So yeah, we haven't even started this yet. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to get some of that out, right? have a nice little reminder of the memory that is being uh, re-engaged and uh, the continuity that is happening if uh, if y'all haven't picked up on it yet the continuity is uh, strengthening and I've noticed it big time to the point where it's like what the fuck the things that I do uh, the, the certain avenues that I take, I notice that more and more people are picking up upon it, engaging certain things. Okay. What we're about to cover is really deep, but hang on and channel that inner light. There's no reason to be afraid. I'm basically implying that we are always possessed by multiple different demons to one degree or another. This is also connected to the other video that we've made on the Nephilim and Archons, but this has more to do with our modern lifestyles and what we digest, physically and mentally. Most humans are not aware of how many parasites they really have. I'll throw myself on that boat. For most of my life growing up, I thought that was something that only happened in third world countries. Boy, it was high. And that's a really cool image right there, because that's pretty much what happens once uh, once you have uh, ignored what's going on inside of you for so long, uh, you, are start, you, you start to be controlled by uh, certain urges and, and feelings, and you, you are so used to releasing into them that you have lost... Um, the willpower and essentially if you've, you've lost your way you've lost yourself by giving in to things that uh, are, are providing you either a quick fix and through this is through drug and food uh, that's, that's why it's you know the FDA that's why it's called that why it's so uh, regulated because uh, it has been corrupted. All the systems have been corrupted, people. Recognize this. And, and you, you have to experience it for yourself. You, you have to come to this realization for yourself. You can't have these um, deeper levels of understandings explained to you. That's not how this works. And I've, I've tried. <laughs> you know, a lot of us have tried to explain some of this deeper level stuff. The esoterics separate from the exoterics and that that almost always uh, ends up in flames because the people have not have no foundation or no kind of inner work done to to start to build a foundation of more understanding and inner awareness and so what happens is uh, they get triggered and offended and they blow up and they push away and they create another layer and barrier 
of trauma and numbness around them. And I am very much sick of uh, experiencing this. And so, you know, uh, a lot of us are. And so we just we just stop uh, really talking about a lot of this stuff to people because it's it's they have no no fucking idea what we're talking about for one and for two they they just think we're crazy, <laughs> which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, and that's why I uh, sometimes throw little pieces out here and there to see if uh, anyone will grab a hold on, grab a hold of, and then I can kind of uh, fish them in a little bit. But uh, it's, it's pretty fucking rare, to be honest. And, and it's pretty fucking sad that uh, so many people are on that level that they 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 cannot listen anymore to truth uh, first within because that's that's where it happens first is within and then uh, truth on the outside starts to filter in and come to us and in certain avenues and pathways and through certain experiences. We start to have the uh, reflection of what we experience come to come back to us, and so that we can perceive it and uh, further integrate it and realize what is really happening. And that that's a whole other fucking layer and level of uh, understanding, overstanding, understanding what is going on, and ciphering down, discerning what is actually what, what is actually true. I wrong. I think most Americans share this silly way of thinking, not knowing that almost all of our eating habits result in parasitic beings finding a home in the waste that fills our body. Yep. If you eat meat, let me just let you know, you are filled with parasites. <laughs> Not only are high-protein diets extremely acidic, but the body doesn't know what to do with all this excess protein. Listen to what this. ends up happening is our sewage system gets backed up. Also, most of us are completely enzyme deficient, and there's no way that our bodies can actually digest this meat. You know what happens? It literally stays in your body and rots. If only you knew what your colon really looked like inside. Oh, but you're vegan. You think you're an exception? <laughs> think again. Most vegans consume an extreme amount of protein in order to compensate for not eating meat. Exactly. Most of them cook all of their foods. Again, enzyme deficient and top that with genetic deficiencies, we end up having issues removing toxins from our body. Beautiful. All of this cooked food is dead, and your body has no idea what to do with all this toxicity. The only way to protect itself is by forming mucus. This mucus is what's saving your body. I was just going to say that. Uh, it's not necessarily that uh, the meat rots and it does but then the mucus is formed and uh, you can you can do your own research into um, having these uh, huge strands of, of mucus um, coming out uh, your back end after you do deep level cleansing uh, colonics enemas you'll have these uh, huge strands of it's almost like a uh, a uh, rubber tire kind of kind of uh, like structure, and that's that's the mucus protecting you from the rotten shit that your body can't process. So uh, if you're obese, if you're clogged up, most likely you have a lot of this clogged. A lot of the clogging is because of this mucus that is protecting you from the garbage that your body can't process. So it's just build up upon build up upon build up, layer upon layer. So if you think that you might have some of this stuff in you, you need to start to engage some cleansing practices and cleaning <laughs> cleaning the colon out 
getting some colonics done. If you can't do that, then engaging some enemas. And you can get creative with the enemas. You can start to throw in some, you know, different uh, different liquids to throw up in there. You can throw in your own orin up in there. That's probably the most beneficial thing you can do. And then uh, activated charcoal as well. well. Really clean some stuff out. You can start to do uh, teas. Um, certain herbal remedies, which which are fantastic, and then you can start to do some uh, some coffee enemas as well, which are most excellent. What tends to happen is this hardens and stays in our body for a very long time. That's the point of trying to drive home. If you eat three times a day, you're cooking your foods, and you're not taking extra measures to cleanse your body then you are most likely infested with parasites. Me? Or no me. <laughs> most of you are probably saying to yourself, or in the comment section, well, I feel fine. I'm doing great. Yeah, okay, that's what you think. Or is that what the parasites are thinking for you? <laughs> How he says some of this stuff, it's a little, it's a little dramatic and it's his humorous. And yeah, don't, it's not so much that the parasites are in control of your mind anymore. It's we gotta we gotta come to understand the subtle influences. So it's it's a um, a subtle suggestion, and then and then once our uh, vibration and feeling becomes more attuned to a certain mode, then that suggestion has a heavier weight, and so we begin to lean towards a certain way, and then. Once we get used to going towards that certain way, it's like um, a path that is uh, ran, like, like a river and a bend. And then we keep going towards this river and bend, and it becomes a, a groove that we are used to um, traversing, a path that we are used to traveling. And it becomes harder and harder to deviate um, back towards a path of homeostasis. Because of how deep these grooves have been uh, dug in. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably end it with that. I have a card that I drew, which I wishes. I don't know if I've ever read this card. Maybe I have. But uh, this is why we out here talking about fasting. Talking about the Orin, talking about cleansing. Disconnecting these things from the body. Regaining complete control over our mind and our faculties. And choosing, beginning to have complete choice and no subtle influences um, are at play. This is a, that's another whole, whole other video in and of itself is uh, the subtle influences uh, at play. But the parasites um, are one of the stages that uh, have an effect. They're basically the initiatory stage. So if you don't have the parasites under control yet or out of your body, then uh, you, you're not even on uh, tier one yet. So that, that's, that's the first step here. Um, as we go into 2020 and, and, and to gain, regain our, our, our sight and our vision, so that we don't have to rely on hindsight <laughs> to have that 2020 vision, even though you know some, some experiences in life you got to go through, and so you can learn from them, and then you have that hindsight 2020 vision, uh, so, so that you can, you know, see that the missteps or or the, the areas where you can be more refined. This is a 2020 refinement. This this is the year of refinement. In defining what is real for you, this is this is 
your time to emit a reality by recreating and restructuring your mentality of what is true, what is real for you. So let's do this shit, baby. <laughs> let's fucking do this shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn. It's a whale of a tail. Uh, from, from the snails to the whales. We got to realize and recognize what it's all about. The pure positions, the purpose. And I, I didn't even realize <laughs> that it said snails on the screen until now. But, uh, yeah, here we go with the card. I don't believe I've ever read the whale card before, but uh, that's something that's in our in our memories um, on on several several levels, from Moby Dick to several imageries, um, the killing of the whales, the slaughtering of the whales, actually. Slaughtering of uh, an awareness within the waters of your own mentality. Come on, light. Keywords. Diving deep. Surviving danger. Powerful forces. The whale card suggests that you are encountering forces more powerful than yourself. What lessons can you learn from them? The whale is the, is the most mammoth of the sea's creatures. Humans are dwarfed beside it. Western cultures most famous whale story finds its origins in the Bible. The prophet Jonah survived being trapped within the belly of a great whale for three days and three nights. In more recent years, the whale has faced extinction from overhunting. Herman Melville's novel Moby Dick related the tale of Captain Ahab's search for an elusive and deadly white sperm whale who previously attacked him. Ahab's obsessive quest for revenge led to his eventual mental derangement and physical destruction. So yes, uh, we, we are diving deep to regain our sight and our vision. The whale, you can liken it to uh, the dragon of the sea. So taming our dragons, our, our air dragons, our fire dragons, our water dragons... What, what the dragon represents, the, the element of uh, 
willpower uh, mentality of fortitude and direction force learning to tame all of our dragons learning to swim with all of the essences and forces that help create and co-create and make up not just our bodies but our surroundings finding homeostasis within and without finding a new level of engagement with our surroundings with the living matrix separating ourselves from this digital matrix that has been implanted in the human um, tapestry and finding our way back to the garden and yes, we have to utilize, we have to use these things that are at our disposal, uh, use them as tools to help guide us and other people back towards truth, back towards the direct experience, back towards, towards, towards gnosis, experiencing life and learning, remembering how to listen again. This is where we are heading towards. If, if you decide you truly want to wake up, then this is it. Peace.